Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Revent my vlog or whatever. So, I was just in my head thinking about a lot of stuff, you know. Now, I'm about to go to my cousin crib, chill with them for a few. I don't know what else I got planned for the day. I mean, this is this a rainy day, so I don't think nothing going on. And I don't go to clubs, I don't party or nothing like that. I used to. I got used to party and stuff like that, but shit got overrated. I know we ain't, we, we done yet, Pop? Yeah. My guy. Appreciate you. My dog. <laughs> yes, sir. You know what I mean? They be getting right every time. Let me see. Hola, mommy. Hola, mommy. Come on, stars. Let me give this a nice drink. I'm not gonna lie to you. These are the best clear fruits. These Johns and a pineapple. For real. Yeah. I ain't throwing no promotions, though, because if I ain't getting paid, I ain't promoting no, no drinks, but these is the best. That's all I want, mommy. That's it. I, I, I think you're Because I'm, I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> for TikTok. You no, know, YouTube. Oh, you need to, to give me your... Your My YouTube vlog. channel? Yeah, I'll give yeah. it to you. I got you. Hold on. Uh-huh. Thank you. What you talking about, huh? Let me just... Sit this right here. What you talking about? What you want? I get Four dollars? Yeah, I get this. Two dollars, two, two on level with you. Two on the level. 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 Two on the Say it again. I'm the leisure around this camera. <laughs> I'm fucking for the food. Okay, 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 okay. What? They even got a chain. A chain. They ain't got a what? They got a boat. They even made a chain. What? Living legend for five, no, four, six, six. Mm -hmm. God damn it on it. Where you coming from, huh? Uh, um, come around here with the link and take them home. I'm walking home, mm -hmm. but I'm still you. doing what I do, how I do. No, I feel you. I'm going to I'm Mr. Window. I'm Mr. Window, a.k.a. Wiggles. I'm that goddamn it only around. I'm the one that brought that goddamn it to town. <laughs> I'll let you know how this shit gonna go down. Uh -huh. I'm like, bitch, 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 Mm, mm, mm. I'm not gonna lie, vlogging in the rain might be crazy, but I gotta be dedicated to y'all. Yeah, yeah. Gotta show love. But better I was saying though, yeah, man, like I don't like going out. I don't like partying no more. 
I'm not gonna like I like having a good time, but niggas, the city not the same no more. Like how niggas get down and shit. No, uh, shit not the same. So with y'all, man. I'm at work right now. Trying to make copies of my time sheets and stuff. I'm trying to see what's up with this job, but I just came on this job to talk to y'all, man. Yeah, I talk, man. Now I connect with y'all. Y'all gotta get to know me. I gotta get to know y'all. But, you know, I go by, I mean, I, I did like four, five, six vlogs or whatever. You know, I go by the name of Mir, Zeph. Um, people know me as Mir Zeph, or they call me by my last name. Um, pretty much, uh, I started doing YouTube started doing YouTube last year. Um, I wanted to start doing YouTube because, you know, like, I'm my, my brother and my cousins and somebody I went to college with uh, told me that I got a good niche for using the camera and, you know, content creation and stuff. So I felt as though with me vlogging, would be a good idea for me to, you know, post on Instagram and post on YouTube and stuff. So that is why I thought to um, start my YouTube channel. So now, you know, you created Five Style Family. Um, it's a big meaning behind Five Style. Um, Y'all gonna see that name a lot because um, the transition to Five Style Family can go many avenues and I'm already starting to I'm already starting some stuff up. I'm cooking some stuff up as we speak. So, the light in the hair is bad. So bad, but. Yeah, man. So, I'm at work right now. I'm upstairs. I'm upstairs, man. Chill for a little bit. We ain't doing nothing. We, we chilling here. We watching uh, what's this? uh the one versus twenty with, with Glock thirty. <laughs> I don't think I could ever do these Johns though. I don't think I could ever do them. Only because it's so fair. I ain't, I ain't, yeah, I ain't with, I ain't with that. I ain't, I ain't trying to be a part of everybody else's wave. I'm gonna just do my own thing. But whoever that created it, uh, it's one versus 20, I feel like they should get a check, a big ass check, I feel like, because now everybody doing it on YouTube. Oh, that's a slip. This just happened. That's why I was call I was calling you. Cause I was gonna <laughs> So a couple people um had commented on my QA on Instagram, so we probably about to finish start answering these questions. I can say I'm, I'm gonna just show. I'm gonna just throw names out there because I know some of the people. So Matt, what type of influence you've been on me? Been a positive influence. Been a positive influence. I give you that. Like, far as you know, starting up your own basketball trend. You know, creating your own wave for basketball. 
um, I always been like that when I was younger. Like out of all my friends, I was always been a trendsetter for myself to play basketball rather than doing the other knucklehead stuff. So like I could definitely say like that type of influence, that type of positive influence to stay down, stay patient, work on yourself and work on what you believe can influence a lot of people in a positive way and in your own way. That's what I can say. What type of that's what type of influence you got on me, like just being positive, staying to myself, um, and just more so anything like, you know, just being authentic, like being original, being your normal self is always key. So I appreciate you for that, dog. Like shout out to you, shout out to CST. Y'all know we all my family. Um, CST, all the CST members. You know, rest in peace, Ka, Ka thirteen, UFO thirteen. I mean, that's big, bro. Mac man, just keep going, just keep pushing. You know, I love you, dog. Still my dog to this day. And uh, you still can't beat me in basketball, you feel me? You still not messing with me. I mean, we got videos and shit of me cooking you over over COVID break or whatever. So, you know I mean, like, you got, your, you got your little lick back or whatever when we played two on two, but on a one on one tip, you're not messing with me. But um, they asked me, uh, he said, what keeps me going every day? or what motivates me to keep going, you know? That could go in many areas, so I can honestly say like, the people I love, the people I cherish the most is what keeps me going. Like, you know, um, I lost a lot of my friends and family um, throughout the years, like me growing up, and I know a lot of people face that, but like, I lost a lot of people in my life that, um, you know, that were supposed, that were supposed to be here, you know, but the people that are here now is the ones that keep me going every day, you know, because at the end of the day, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Um, and personally for me, like, uh, like the kids that I work with at Odin Reed, um, unfortunately I don't work there anymore, but you know, the kids at Odin Reed is another, um, another source. Like they like my second family, honestly, like, um, like, like from like the basketball team all the way to the normal students at the school. Like y'all, I appreciate y'all a lot because without y'all, you know, I wouldn't be feeling young as I am. Um, and I wouldn't be more appreciative of life, you know, expressing how much it is to live and showing it to myself and showing it to y'all. So I could say like, uh, like if it wasn't for y'all and it wasn't for my family and the people that I love, then like, you know, I wouldn't be here right now. Like, I'll probably be doing something dumb, probably be locked up or something. But a lot of people don't have their mind of their own. Like, you feel me? So, like, I just stay to myself. I just try to do my own thing. Um, Fatima, she asked me, um, she asked me, how am I doing mentally? <laughs> I mean, I'm one of those people, I'm one of those people that, you know, that never show how they feel. I don't show no expressions, I don't show no emotions or whatever. Like, I feel like I don't, it's not that I don't need to show it, I just feel like I, I be vulnerable when I do show it. But, like, I can honestly say, like, mentally, I'm hanging in there. Mentally, I'm hanging in there. I'm just trying to, you know, focus on the task at hand of life and, you know, being an adult and, um, you know, you know, just trying to get myself established, you know, because I got my college degree in like like two years ago. Uh, shout out to me. I graduated from college, got my college degree in business administration. So I'm trying to work in my field now. So mentally, like I've just been drained a lot, but you know, I'm still going to keep going because, you know, I'm just motivated by the people that I love and you guys. So, and then like Five Star Family also, and like Five Star Family also going to show love to me and make, make sure like, you know, I keep myself productive and keep myself motivated. And then, um, do I play against colleges? No, I play semi-professional basketball now. So, um, I play for the Philadelphia Tomahawks. I mean, we just started a real new, um, new basketball organization. Um, uh, like I learned a lot from playing with them, playing with the Philadelphia Tomahawks by, um, you know, just being on a pro level, um, it's just like it's faster. It's more like, you know, 
it's more about the reps that you put in on the floor, like how much work that you put in. Like you got to be consistent, you got to be efficient. And I'm not honestly going to say like I surprised myself, you know, I held myself to a high uh, pedestal, and I overachieved a lot. Um, the only thing I didn't win is a championship as of yet, and I'm still in my rookie campaign. So shout out to me on that, you mean, and shout out to the Philadelphia Tomahawks for, you know, allowing me to uh, progress. And, you know, and shout out to Tuck, man. If it wasn't for me and Tuck, we wouldn't be having the Philadelphia Tomahawks. There would be no Philadelphia Tomahawks, honestly, because, you know, the story behind that is I had tried out for the NBA G League, and, you know, I needed a trainer. You know, my man Tuck, you know, I call him. And he's been coaching me the whole way to, like, you know, develop me and get me better. And then, you know, I made it to the third tryout. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. Um, however, you know, we, we, we wanted to keep myself going. So we tried out uh, for another team. And then next thing you know, Tuck was like, he wanted to make his own organization, his own team. So we created the Philadelphia Tomahawks. And, you know, ever since then, I've just been doing my thing with basketball and stuff. So, so Rama, Rama had asked me, Another question she asked me, how do I maintain balance in life? Um, uh, I just balance my life about the things that I need done and then like the important things in life that I need. And then I make time for the important people in my life and then the important things in my life. You can't just pile your day up with boom, 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 and you're gonna do that and it's gonna go exactly the way that you thought it's gonna go. Like. I normally just go about my day by pretty much just being um, normal. Like I get up, I don't plan nothing. I hate planning stuff because it never works out for me. So I pretty much just, you know, just go on with the, go with the flow, go with the wind, everything and I gotta do. So that's how I balance everything. And then also like going to college also showed me like a better way to organize my life and how I maintain my balance in life because I pretty much organize myself around my schedule. So. I'm not gonna lie, this would be the bed if I was to go do some shit like this with my people. The city, the Thunder can get a win. The road team has won three of the five games so far in the series, and an easy basket for OKC off the tip. That takes it to the friction. Back to back turnovers by the Thunder. Dodgers waits, then fires, cans it through. Gilgis Alexander, they leave him for hard feet, and he makes it. Hines has missed it. Try the big offensive rebound. That's tough. Going Yo, down, man. <laughs> <laughs> going down, bro. He he got set everything up for y'all though. Y'all not eating right now, though. No? We are.
I ain't got no brush. My brush upstairs in the lock. Can I get a loose with y'all? I wanna be in the No, you can't get on the news with us. On my song. What are they home? Yo, yo, chill out. Large one of the pioneers. You good, good though. Large been around for a minute. You are. Right. I'm vlogging, man. This is the vlog for them, man. <laughs> yes, Lorda. Please, can. He gotta get acquainted with the Eagles, that's all. What's he getting acquainted with? He said year two, he's gonna be all right. Yeah, year two. Year two, he's gonna be all right. I don't think he's gonna come in off rip and, and, and cook it. But that's the thing, though. You throw this season and just throw it away. And be. They cover all the seeds, we go right in the dark in the shells and egg. Yeah. Two. Yo. Oh, he's a YouTube channel. All right, all right, all right. All right. She taking y'all. She taking. Yeah. I'm definitely not. She, she is taking. College. No, college. no, no, nope. 
She take it, y'all. She has a man. She trolling. Let me see. Bye, Serana, get out. I gotta talk to the people. Go ahead. What's up, y'all? I just want to remind y'all to stay in school and be like JC. Don't be, a, be better than me. So okay. I'm talking, be better than me. Meet him or beat him. You gotta be meet him or you gotta be better than be, me. Be and then, you know me. Um, I work in tech. No, all right. See, look, Wait, no, nope. Why you not? Nope. That's it. I'm trying to inspire the people. I work in tech. I work in cybersecurity, and I also do cloud consulting on the side. You know, just stay in school. Do your do your work. Hey, women out there listening, focus on them grades, focus on that schoolwork, and then you think it's gonna come. Don't worry about them niggas. Okay, that's all I have to say to the chief. <laughs> <laughs> you doing, sir? Yes. All right. Yes, sir. Take that shot. Take that shot, boy. Take that shot, boy. And just all have your eye barbecue today. Yep, that's all right. Oh, nasty, dog. Yes, sir. Corn liquor. That's all right. That's a good thing. Corn liquor. Uh, corn liquor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I drink. I'm going to do the corn liquor. Corn liquor. Corn liquor. You did too, Tori. If you put money over bitches, okay, 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 that's okay, the right okay. movement. That's the right movement.